Well, hi everyone, it's Marcus and welcome to more Zooming in the Jungle Room. Today I'm Zooming all the way over to Victoria where I'm speaking to Greg Gold. Greg, how are you today? Hello, darling. You look beautiful as usual and I feel jealous because you got a better backdrop than I do. <laughs> I'll see you. I'll send some over to you. Hey, we're friends. What yes, we please. Um, hey, actually, the reason why we're talking today is because somebody's got a brand new album release this week. Yes, um, a Friday, my goodness. Strings Attack yes. coming out Friday. Yes. Tell me all about the album. So it's it's kind of like, it feels like a long time coming because this is actually my first ever original album. I've been, I've been in the industry now for 20 years. So... It's not that I haven't been writing songs. I've been writing songs the entire time. It just, for whatever reason, there's a lot of, a few false starts, little record deals that didn't work out, this and that, that I just put it to the side. But now it feels, it feels like the right time. I feel like I've lived a life to be able to tell these stories. And I'm really sharing some, some, um, some, a lot of, it's a very deeply personal record. Uh, so excited. I mean, I've seen you do a, a trillion different shows now, whether it be George Michael, whether it be, um, you know, Stevie Wonder show, I think, you know, Whitney Houston show, you've done so many different, you know, Freddie Mercury, <laughs> my goodness, so many. Yes. So, so, so great. I mean, and you, you, you kill those shows incredibly, but how refreshing now to be able to see you do your own work and put out your own work to the world. Excited. I've got to say, Marcus. Yep. I've only I've only done a couple of shows now. I supported the wonderful Tanya Doko on her, her her last tour, and that was my first time performing a lot of these songs live. And it honestly felt different. Mm -hmm. It did feel like a, a whole different exchange from me to the audience because no longer am I, am I interpreting someone else's incredible, which I love doing. But these are my lyrics. These are my stories. They're my words. They're my experiences. So to be able to share that with an audience, it's a completely, I, I, I didn't quite understand how different it was going to feel. And I, I think I'm a little bit addicted to being an original artist because I loved it. I loved it. And there's so many personal songs on the album. I mean, you put your heart, um, blood, sweat, tears, everything into some of these songs and really exposed some of the things that have occurred to you in the past. Um, well, not so much yeah. exposed, but talked about the things of your past. Um, how confronting was that for you? Oh, look, some of them are, as you said, pretty deep. Uh, one of them I, I, I probably won't even talk about publicly what it's about, but uh, it, the, the deep message of the song is chosen family. Um, so sometimes we write these songs as a cathartic thing and it's very much that for me. Um, my latest single, No More, with the wonderful uh, Kate DeRouge, Adam Noviello and Queen Kong um, was very that. So I wrote that one um, about the murders of beautiful Jesse Baird and Luke Davies. Me, like most of us, I'm sure yourself too, Marcus, will just, it just hit me like a ton of bricks. And for three days, I just was lying in bed feeling just helpless and disgusted. And it was like writing these lyrics was like a way of, for me to get out how I was feeling. Never really intended to, to release that song initially. Like I wasn't writing a song to release. The album was pretty much finished. But that's how a lot of these songs sort of came about. They came about from real experiences that I needed to get out how I was feeling. And then it sort of became a song from there. Why was the time right for now for you to produce your own music? Ooh, that's such a good question. I think because for a long time I had a lot of things that I was going through, um, maybe, I, maybe, I don't know. I don't know the full answer to that question, but I would say that it just feels like I've, I've had to go through this stuff to be able to tell it now. This, it's almost like this is my 36 years of life in an album. Here's me up until now offloading and then maybe the next album will be more of a statement of who I am as an artist because I've been able to offload like it's like I can't go on without giving you this much of me and it'll that's it's like cleaning the slate if that makes sense um now you dropped a couple of names before but you've got some pretty big names um, I'll just pick them up off the floor sorry <laughs> pick them up already. do your housework <laughs> yeah you've got some pretty big collaborations happening on this album um let's talk through some of those so, as I mentioned, the wonderful uh, Kate Tarouge, Young Diva, Australian Idol, um, theatre star Adam Noviello, who's been the lead in like, so many amazing things like Priscilla, and he was in Chess with Nat Bass, um, and they are so, that's such a great artist, and 
so fabulous. Um, Queen Kong. Queen Kong was like the, the the extra little sparkling salt of that song. I felt like it was missing something and they represent so much of, of, of what they do for the community with their advocacy and the way that they, they're very mother to our community. So I, I, I knew I, would, I wanted that on the record. The other two is the wonderful Phil, uh, Philippines artist, um, Morissette, who I've been such a huge fan with uh, of, for so long. Um, and she was the number one person I wanted to sing on this album. So f when she said yes, it was like Christmas came early. Uh, and the final one, which was kind of like the surprise, um, which did come out of nowhere, I was working with this, the legendary songwriter, Scott Allen, on an original song which is on the album and they um they've worked with everyone from Cynthia Erivo to Pentatonix to Shoshana Bean and they knew that I love Shoshana and th this particular song that Shoshana sang that he wrote called Home and sent me a message um the day after I got the master back of the first one said right now let's make this happen how how would you like to do a, a duet a new duet version of Home with Shoshana I was like Oh my goodness! And anyway, she goes, all right, I'll text her. Five minutes later, come back and said, yep, she's in. And yeah, so I did a duet with the icon, the Broadway icon. She's currently on Broadway um, in Alicia Keys' new musical, Hell's Kitchen, which she was Tony nominated for. Um, she's just an incredible singer. And it's it's like, I, I, still don't, I still doesn't feel real, Marcus. It doesn't. You know what? You're going to have many, many pinch me moments, I think, over the next couple of months as this um, album of yours just takes legs and just travels everywhere. And it will. Um, hey, so please tell me, obviously, there needs to be a solo tour. Is that going to be happening? So I'm doing I'm doing uh, two launches this weekend uh, at the Mimo Music Hall in Melbourne and the Fun House Factory in Gosford. Uh, that's just to kick off the album for the for this weekend. But absolutely, I'd love to come to Adelaide. I'd love to do Brisbane. I, I'd actually like to go to the places that a lot of people would like. Uh, I'd like to go to Tasmania, Perth. And look, I probably will start smaller with those ones because I haven't really toured much there. Um, but yes, absolutely. Even if it's just me, a piano and a cello. Why not? Let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people. I'll talk now, I mean, <laughs> a lot on your plate right now. So this question might be a little bit ambiguous. Um, but what is next for Greg? So the album comes out, a bit of a tour may happen. What is next? Yeah. So I'm on tour with Symphony again this year, Symphony number four, which is exciting. And Symphony's also doing the very first, it's a world first, Symphony Pride in Auckland on the 3rd of August, which is so fabulous. Um, but yeah, look, I, I'm working towards some, some pretty big uh, shows for next year. Um, but yeah, that, look, it's like the fruits of the labor, right? So the album's out. So now it's, it's to get out there and, and, and share these songs with everybody. So that's the plan sensational greg you are an absolute delight as always i've known you for way too long Fabulous. way too long, <laughs> way too long. Um, Friday... i've known you like i've known you for three different hairstyles since there you go that's, I that's how know. Long. i know <laughs> every year it's a, I, I i look back at old photos so i know exactly what year based on the hair but um i actually i think that this might be my favorite it's so oh, beautiful oh thank you my friends um friday the 12th of july um, strings attached um, yes. by Greg Gould. Please, everyone, go and get it. It's out through all the devices. Um, fingers crossed one day there might even be a vinyl released. Uh, are we going to do a vinyl? I'm working on a deluxe edition. We need to make Are, are you getting those vocal cords ready for a duet? What's happening? Oh, are we, do you know are we doing it? You know, because I'm your dream collaboration. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Well, you know what? You should. We should get you in a music video. That, that definitely should happen. Okay. We're going to work on that. Um, we're going to talk <laughs> and get this thing happening over here in Adelaide. Greg, you're in a delight as always. Um, much, much success with this new album. And thank I'll you soon. Love thank you lots. Bye-bye. <laughs>